What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Super Mario 3D World in the last part We finished World 4 in this part. We're gonna start off on World 5. World 5-1 Sunside Seas. Now we're gonna stick with Luigi There's actually gonna be a new power-up in this level believe it or not Now uh, if we get this Koopa right here um, and kind of Yeah, we're gonna one up that way if we time it right. Yeah, your main goal in this level is to get the five um, keys the five keys so you can kind of open the, um, what the hell am I trying to say? You can kind of open the main door that gets us out of here and we lost the cat suit, but it doesn't matter because we're getting your all new power up right here. The boomerang Luigi. So yeah, boomerang Luigi basically, um, what the hell am I trying to say? It lets you shoot boomerangs and we get another one up that way. And that's our second key. So yeah, your goal in this level is to collect five keys, and uh, I want to see if there's something here. There's uh, another key. Yeah, this is a second recording session, I'd say. The first recording session was the last part, mainly so I can get a video up on schedule, but um, or keep up the schedule. But uh, you want to go in here, because that's where the second... Um... Oh, yay, the techno music. You don't see these techno places very often, but, uh, very solid. I think, well, I think I said last time there's Blue Monday and there's this. So yeah, we've got, uh, two, we got two stars down. That's the main, uh, egg, that's the main way to get out of this portion. And, uh, there's gonna be, um, more red coins. See, so, yeah, World 5 is very, can be very much a beach-oriented world. Yeah, this Cooper Shell's gonna act like a, uh... This Cooper Shell's gonna act like, very much like a, uh... Coin, but we lose it, because we hit the enemy with it. Okay, Jesus. That's all the, uh, that's all the, uh, green stars. Don't worry if you miss the stamp, because the stamp's not in this first area. And also, this acts like a hit. I think we have to lose it, though. I think, oh yeah, there it is. So yeah, I hope you remembered something from earlier in this playthrough. Because if we go down this pipe, there's none other than this creature from earlier. So yeah, it's gonna act like another thing. This is gonna be where the stamp is. Unlike the last time we did this, we don't have to play the stage twice. Let's see if we can get a one-up. Oh, yeah. We got a one-up. You want- make sure you stay to the right because that's where the stamp's gonna be. Like that. And we just have to top the flagpole. See how we're gonna do this. We're gonna get a nice running start. We're gonna get a nice running start. We're gonna one up the also that way. So then, now there's another Captain Toad level, and there's uh, two more stages. And there's a slot, which we'll get to later. Oh yeah, so um, we're gonna do the Captain Toad level. Time for adventure! 
Yes, this one's haunted, and uh, basically we just have to avoid the ghosts. Much like before, Captain Toad can't jump, and you have to kind of solve puzzles. I want to say Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker was also in development alongside this game, but I could be wrong. There's a there's a star number one and star number, uh, and we went through the wrong door. But the star number two is uh over there, and beneath these uh boos, actually no, that's a later one. Be careful, the boo. And you wanna, yeah, you wanna figure. I know I've done this enough times I can figure out the puzzle, but um, there's star number three, and um, it's really exciting coming to say star number three, star number four. And we're about to approach star number five. Animal saw was gonna fall off because I accidentally jumped. Now just face the boo and let the platforms go down. Now star number five. Now, um, let's we'll see which one's in later are five. Okay, five, two. So we're gonna do this one first. We're gonna stick with Luigi because this is a platforming level. Trigger Track to East Theater. Very awesome. I always like these kind of stages, like the, uh, the, um, kind of like, uh, kind of like Vegas looking, like, uh, not, well, not exactly Vegas looking, but the ones that look like, um, cause, the, like, theater, the theater oriented stages. Doesn't mean you know like Mario 3 is supposed to be based off a pl is supposed to, is supposed to be set up like a play. And slide through these guys and they'll be taken care of. I love any Mario game we can pretty much slide into enemies like that. Okay, we want to get that we want to get that green star. I think we need to use this. Oh yeah. Interesting enough, um, you can jump off these uh, this platform, but I don't know why you would. Okay, there should be um, there's a lot of piranha plants, but there's none of them. They're not. Uh, there's a giant Luigi. Just make obliterate these piranha plants. I do like how this giant mushroom returns from New Super Mario DS. Like I said, this game has a lot of callbacks to earlier Mario games. But it's not really an uncomfortable throwback like New Super Mario Bros. U is. Wait, no. There we go. One up. Yeah, one up. That is the second green star. We almost got another one up out of that. Now there was a stamp up there, but um, yeah, there's the stamp. Don't forget the stamp, by the way. It can be easily missed in this level. And we gotta do this as fast as we can. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, and we got a one-up. Now we're just gonna time it so we can top the flagpole because we don't need another 1-2. All right, come on, come on. Fuck. Alrighty, so I will see you guys in a second. 
All right, so here's attempt number two at a top of top of the flagpole. I went and got cat suits off screen so I can do this. Because the cat suit guarantees we top it. There we go. There we go. So, 5-3, um, we're gonna need 80, uh, stars to get to. Now, we're gonna need Toad for this level, so, um, this is Backstreet Bustle, and, uh... And it's a great thing we need Toad for this level, because guess what? It's a multiplying level. That's where the first green star is, and, um... Here we go. Oops. I just love when Toad says that. It's so cute and great. Anyway, we need Toad to get the stamp. Oh, I almost got the third one almost died. Because we're gonna need a to total of four Toads. We need a this is also one of those stages that gives us a hundred seconds to beat it. If we go for that three right away, we're not gonna get all the toad. We're not gonna get the second um thing, so um So we want to get that, that's the second star, and, uh, the third, and, um, that was a piece of cake. Anyway, so there's a toad house on the other side of, uh, that, uh, pipe, which we might as well go for. I'm just in luck with these toad houses so far. Yeah, I always take the cat and the tanuki. So we're just gonna do this charge and chuck as of one last thing, and uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna switch back to Luigi. And we lose the cat suit right away. Come on. We're just gonna use this. Can we get a one up. I'm just gonna cut it off for this part of Super Mario 3D World. So next time on Super Mario 3D World, we're gonna finish World 5. I will see you guys in a sec. I'll see you guys then.